The timing couldn't be worse. Days away from children going back to school after the summer break, now facing closures and disruptions. At the Sheffield School, pupils are learning under a 60-year-old roof at risk of collapse. In places, the ceiling's held up by wooden props. The materials known as rack reinforce autoclaved aerated concrete used from the 1950s up to the mid-1990s that's outlived its 30-year lifespan. Corpus Christi School in Brixton, South London, is one of the schools forced to partially close while the problem's dealt with after rack was found in parts of the roof. It's going to be difficult, but it's the best solution, right? We all just have to work together. Parents can work out a solution to help each other get the kids to school. The government's trying to assure parents the problem is under control, but it's left teachers scrambling to find alternatives, including mobile containers in which to continue teaching. And for some pupils, a return to pandemic-style remote learning hasn't been ruled out. It's 156 out of our 22,500 schools, so for most people you won't be affected. But for those, priority for me is the children's, your children's safety, and that's why we're taking these precautionary measures. The problem is it's not just schools that are affected. Other public buildings constructed in the 50s, 60s and 70s, including universities, courts and hospitals, also contain the dangerous concrete. The material's been known about for some time, with unsafe rack identified and removed. But new evidence emerged in recent weeks suggesting low-risk rack is actually dangerous. Schools and other buildings that were thought to be safe were anything but. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London. New additions to the list of UNESCO. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.